Bank Negara Malaysia terus menegaskan moratorium menyeluruh bukan penyelesaian terbaik ketika negara berdepan dengan perintah kawalan pergerakan PKP 2.0. Menurut Gubernur Bank Negara Datuk Nur Syamsiah Muhammad Yunus, ini kerana ia akan menjejaskan berjuta rakyat dalam jangka masa panjang termasuk usaha pemulihan ekonomi. Nur Syamsiah berkata setakat ini sejumlah 1.4 juta peminjam sudah memohon bantuan bayaran balik dengan 95% dilulus. Malah 45% daripada mereka memilih untuk mensutur kembali bayaran bulanan berbanding mahukan moratorium. This is why it is a fallacy to think that the economy can only be helped by an automatic moratorium alone. As many of us have come to appreciate a, blank, a blanket automatic loan moratorium will not be in the best interest of the economy and rakyat. First, it will erode bank buffers and make it more difficult for individuals and businesses to obtain new loans as banks become more reserved. Second, bank soundness and profitability matter for millions of Malaysians who are not only depositors in this bank but also as shareholders indirectly through their savings and holdings in institutions like APF, ASB, Coop, LTAT and Tabung Haji. Third, a targeted approach is better than an automatic blanket moratorium as it puts the choice in the hands of the borrowers to make their own financial decisions.